So here's the deal. I've been working for hours, thinking about video ideas. My nose is red because I've been outside. For seed starting, because it's that time of year. It's March 1st. And I want to start my YouTube channel. And shocking, I have too many ideas. So here's the deal. Reality check. I have too much seed starting stuff. There's too many options. I don't even know what goes with what anymore. So I'm gonna show you what I have. I'm gonna show you the new stuff because I know what goes with what with the new stuff. And I'm gonna do some seed starting. And that's just what you're gonna get. It's not gonna be very organized because that's reality. Take a break. Hang out with me Find yourself in Campbell's greenhouse Alright, so we're at my sink in my studio. I've got seeds that I started to label here. Um, I had some fancy idea about doing just like some trays of seeds and then some like individual cells of seeds, okay? Maybe maybe that'll happen today, maybe it won't. Let's look through <laughs> let's look through this chaos and maybe wash some of these containers. So um I already rinsed these off, so I'm okay with these. It says modern grower. This is from Epic Gardening. These are from last year I bought them. Six cells. And now this year they came out with 16 cells. I bought a couple of them to try. So they're even littler for starts. Sorry, that was so loud. So here's the new ones this year, 16 cell, and here's the six cell. I will probably plant some nasturtiums in there today. I have lots of nasturtiums. Okay. Those are pretty clean. I'm gonna just like kind of tuck them under here. I found this tray and I'm trying to figure out what's from Gardener's Supply from last year. Okay, I brought this to show you what I don't like. I bought these root trainers for sweet peas because you're not supposed to disrupt their pack root. I have a lot of sweet peas I wanna start. Um, I just could probably start them outside. My problem is I have birds eat them um, when I plant them in the ground. So I'm gonna try to start them in containers because what happened last year was I ended up buying um, four inch containers of sweet peas from the store because all of mine got eaten by birds. So I don't like these. You have to figure out how to get soil. Maybe somebody knows uh, a tutorial for how to use these better, but you have to like, oh, I just broke it. Um, yeah, so that's the reason I don't like them. They're like kind of cheaper plastic. They seem to break a lot. Oh, this one was already broken anyway. I'm gonna hold this somewhere you can see it. You see it over here? That just broke. All I was trying to do was latch these. I don't know what you can see. Latch these things together. And then you're supposed to fill it with dirt. And then they've got this hole in the bottom. And then there's like these special trays you have to line them up in so they don't fall over. Um, garbage. Putting it literally in my garbage can right now. Don't do it. Don't buy them. They break. They're annoying. They fall all over the place. If you have different experience with them, let me know. Um, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I hate them. All right, here's a random humidity dome that I found outside. Um, I thought it might line up with something. Here's another humidity dome. This looks a lot like the gardener's supply one. I think that might be what that is. Um, so these are like different bottom trays that don't have holes. Um, okay, oh hey, look, there's a, got a little clue here. Look, those patterns on the bottom match. So my guess is that those go together. So let's put those together and put them over here for a second. They're super dirty. 
I tried to rinse them off outside, but my water situation is bleak. I thought maybe, no, I think this might just be a random tray. Um, are you a slug? Okay, it's not a slug. I'm trying not to bring any pests in here, which is why I was trying to rinse everything off, but, um, there's, it was so cold, my hands are freezing. There's only so much I can do. So I was trying to find these, because these are supposed to be like deep root things from Gardener Supply. I think maybe these are like expensive, fancy ones. All right, so this I left these outside all winter and there's leaves and stuff in them. I got most of the big chunks, but um, all right, I'm gonna see if this lines up with this. Oh yeah, so those other ones have little trays that hold them up too for self-watering. So this for sure goes in here, and then that I think goes on, and then look at this huge humidity dome, unnecessary. I think that might go on top because that's like a whole thing, right? It's, it's kind of awful. Let's rinse it off. I just can't handle the dirt anymore. I need to find like a little towel in here. Dirty. Let's go with this. Oh, I'm just getting warmer. Let's take a break from that noise for a second. These have these little slidey things. Do they even work? Do they still work? Are you gonna slide? No. These have non-functional slidey things on the tops of them to um, <laughs> release some of the humidity. Yeah, they're, they're stuck because they've been outside for a year. So if you'd like to know how these last outside for a year, these things stop moving. And there's a big old crack here. I mean, obviously I did it, but it's not the most hardy thing. I mean, I'll, I'll kind of let this dry and then maybe I'll try to take that side. All right, let's just keep rinsing. Okay, that's pretty clean. Oh, there's still some spider webs in there. I really don't want more spiders in my studio. The studio's in the basement, so it already has a little bit of spider problem. All right, this, this looks pretty good. I don't see any cracks, despite the fact that I just kind of tossed it around outside for a year, maybe even two. Okay, let's wash the bottom. Okay, that piece looks fine. Okay, this bottom tray looks good. It has these little things that poke up to set that other flat tray on it. And then you fill this bottom reservoir with water and you get a wicking mat, which I'm gonna have to buy new wicking mats. And then I'm just gonna wash this off. I don't know what this belongs to. I'll take the big chunks out. more chunks. Humidity dome. So let me show you these other humidity domes that came with um, my new stuff from, why can't I think of words today? Bootstrap Farmer. Open the holes for more airflow. Close the holes for more humidity. Okay. That's how it's supposed to work. What else do we want? So I've got six cells, 16 cells, and I've got whatever these other ones are that I just rinsed out. Okay, let's go over what I bought from Bootstrap Farmer. Got these little four by four inches. They have holes in the bottom. 
have these four by fours with holes in the bottom, but they're shorter. So probably something surface sewn that I don't care about long roots like sweet peas have long tap roots so I wouldn't want to put them in something like this. So um, I decided to take advantage of the colors and get blue, no whole bottom trays for these. So that's for watering or for catching water. And then I also got the 10 by 10s. Oh, are these five by five then? I've been calling them four by four, but I think they're five by five. Because then they wouldn't fit in here, right? Yeah, they must be five by five. Oh boy, use the right words. So these five by five humidity domes fit on top like this. So here's the whole kit. Now, I have done seed starting before, um, and it was successful, but mostly I used stuff like this. And I remember wishing I could just start a bunch of seeds in this and let them sit like that for a long time, and then pot them up to sizes like this. Honestly, I don't really remember why right now. Maybe because they didn't all germinate and it was easier to have something and just like a little five by five and then if it didn't germinate, it didn't matter. Um, it just gives you more room to start seeds in the first place. There's lots of reasons. If you can think of other reasons, let me know. Um, so that's why I bought a bunch of these. So what we're gonna do now is I started labeling some things. We're gonna label some more. Oh, I have another thing I wanna show you. Here's my other seed starting thing I bought from Gardener's Supply. Galvanized, reusable. It has these cute little reusable, galvanized, why can't I think of words? Um, containers, cells, I think cells is the right word. And then of course, I immediately lost Oh boy, I literally just had the little thing that goes in here to take this out. What did I do with it? Where'd you go? Are you behind there? No. special thing to get these out and I'll show it to you when I find it or I'll put in a picture here from the website it's these little grabber tong things okay so I also have two sets of these to start seeds in if I want to or I can save them to pot up seeds later I'm still looking for it and I said I wasn't going to thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow by the way, here's the tongs I was looking for. Yes. Then there's the fly. Tongs to take soil blocks out. Think your breath. Think your breath. Hang out with me. Bye, Korea. Find yourself in Candle's greenhouse.